Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Cap. Thank you, God, for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Capricorn, let's see what's going on for love for you. All right, the Queen of Swords, uh oh. Okay, and what else is going on for love for Capricorn? And then we have the Nine of Cups. So somebody is, um, this could be cutting out things that uh, maybe somebody is asking questions, being very clear, very uh, direct in their communication about the nature of a relationship. Is it just fun? This could be you, Capricorn, or, or this could be someone else. Someone is wondering, is it more or is just, is it leisurely? Is it friends with benefits? Is it fun in the sun? Is it just sex? Is it just good food, good drink, good time, good company? Somebody wants to know. This could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a fixed energy. No, this could be a uh, Virgo also. Uh, could be Gemini also. Uh, and we've got Pisces coming up. But it could be anybody. It could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone wants to know where this is going. What are we building towards? Is it progressing? You know, because someone is really um, seeing that this could be so much more. But it could be lack of progression in the relationship. So it goes nowhere. You know, it's just we're stuck here. We're stuck at the opportunity of meeting one another, of having relations with one another. But, but what are we building towards? So this is what someone could be asking you, Cap, or this is what you're asking someone else in terms of love. Someone is at a place of wanting to cut out all of the frivolousness of the connection or frivolous or the frivolous connections. Like if it doesn't add value, if it's not lasting or long lasting, if it doesn't provide um, a new way of life, a new way of being, because the queen of swords is all about new, then somebody is like, you know, I just don't want it anymore. Somebody could be saying those words. I'm not having sex with you anymore. You know, I'm not going to engage with you anymore until you get me an answer, until we move forward, until there's truth, until there's clarity. So that's how someone could feel, okay? Let's see what career and finance has to offer for you, Capricorn. Career and finance. We have the three of wands very nicely awaiting for you've done the work, you know what the vision is and you're waiting for it to manifest for you. Okay, waiting for things to expand, things to go your way. Again, back to vision here, it talks about maybe even global, you know, um, expansion. Um, it talks about in every aspect of your life, things that are going pretty well, especially in business. This is for career and finance. Um, with the three of wands, it's saying that you, you want to take some leadership role or leadership position. You want to be in the lead or you're taking the lead here. Again, you're waiting for, you put something out. I don't know if you ship something out and then you're waiting for the people to receive it or something of that nature or vice versa. Someone's shipping something to you and you're waiting for a package. It's just an energy of, okay, I'm ready to go to the next level. I'm ready to have successful completion here. And you will. Also, you know, what you have been put in all of that legwork with the three of wands there. You created something here. Let's see. This could be commerce, definitely e-commerce, especially with that going out, going in. Let's see. Um, career finance for cap. I knew it will afford to very nice. So things are looking really good in your career and your finance. Things will change. Some of you are really focused on, you know, some self uh you really self-directed self-focused you know maybe on your short-term goals uh you've gone you've taken something in a new direction this could be a business this could be a partnership but you're taking something in a new direction and therefore you're going to see success or victory here there were hurdles there were obstacles but you got over them or you're getting over them by way of going taking another direction here um being able able to pivot is what i'm hearing and also there's a lot of focus on you. It's a lot of focus on, you know, your energy and, and on achieving. You're not really focused on love and um, pouring out and emotions. You're more so focused on getting something done or getting it done or moving it forward back to taking the lead and moving it forward with the chariot card. There will be a level of success had, 
you know, the underdog. I don't know, maybe somebody was counting you out and now it looks like you will get what you want. Some of you, you want a luxury vehicle or something of that nature. Or you're moving to a really nice home. Very good in your finances and, you know, in love and romance, it looks like somebody's getting real direct on what they want. This is what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates down for you in the comment section. Uh, you can always text me if you have a question. You can text your question to the number below. Uh, you can always catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you have not contributed to the New Moon Money Jar, contribute any amount to the jar to bring in more abundance in your life, maybe even to help usher in those wishes, those manifestations that you have for your career and your finance. Um, a New Moon Prayer will be held for everybody collectively and we're just going to bring in abundance on this new moon the new moon the the new moon is today february 1st so take advantage the prayer will continue for the next three days so um all links are below if you want to get involved in that thank you guys have a really good week